Have you ever seen Love is Blind? Oh yeah. Yes. Okay, you know how they have gold cups? <gasps> in every season, in every scenario, whether they're at a restaurant or they're in the bubble or whatever, they all are using gold cups. It's yeah. really weird. Is it because they have mics in them? Ooh, good guess. No, it's very random and it's, for some reason, it kind of creeps me out. So the reason they all have these gold cups is because... Wow. That is so crazy yeah. because it's it's such a good show that you're now thinking, is what I consumed even real? Hey, welcome back to whatever the hell this is, Slumber Party Edition! Yes. Uh, okay, so this is very, very random, and I know I'm too old for this. <laughs> I think we're all too old for this, honestly. What do you think is the cutoff age for slumber parties? It depends on if you're seeing it through or not. You know, you guys aren't actually spending the night. That might be weird. <laughs> okay, well, let me explain. So we were coming up with ideas for the podcast today, and I was like, oh, I want to play this game, and I want to play this game. And then I was like, wait a minute. All of these games are kind of a theme. It's almost like slumber party games. And then I was like, oh my God, we could be wearing pajamas and onesies. We could have snacks. Like, we could just really... <laughs> Popcorn and M&Ms? No, I have something even better, but we'll save it. So yeah, this is the slumber party edition of the podcast. So if you're watching at home and you're not in your pajamas, bitch, what are you doing? Get on your onesie. Chris's onesie he's wearing has a thing on the back where you can open it and it's for a dick. <laughs> <laughs> or for poop. Uh, yeah, either or, really. Yeah. And plot twist, it's actually Spencer's onesie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's really quickly go around the room and talk about, well, oh, before I get into that, let me just say, if you think, oh God, here we go again, they're not going to talk about conspiracies or just talking about their stupid fucking onesies, <laughs> stick around because we have a conspiracy later in the show that is so fucked up. I didn't even want to know about it. I was like, Jared, just save it. Just save it for the podcast because it's so crazy. So that's coming soon. But before we get to that, Jared, what are you wearing? <laughs> it's a bear onesie. And it, like, like I've said, I feel like the Mario version when he gets into the bear suit. Tanuki. Tanuki. And I also feel like, do you remember that song that you and me, baby, ain't nothing, nothing but mammals. mammals? I feel like the guy singing the song was in this exact same onesie in the music video. Oh, yeah. I do I do see this being like very fashionable. I think if I went to fashion week in this, people would be like, whoa, dude, he's so next oh. level. Wow, he's ahead of his time. Yeah. Like, Kanye would wear that in Paris. Oh, yeah, in like five years. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what Kanye's going to be wearing exactly. And Sandy, she's rocking um... a Care Bear sweater. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're just the bear cave of the corner of the uh, podcast. Today. You're catching wow. the bears. <gasps> yes, I've ca I've already caught one. He's self. The shirt. She's a chaser, and it oh. is and it is ironic because it has a frog on it, and she says, "I have frog legs." <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because they're so long and like. <laughs> and my what? body is so fat, I look no. like a frog. <laughs> Does he sit in a position? Yeah, a sometimes legs? if he's like on a recliner, he'll just like put his legs up like that. Yeah. Okay, so I don't want to interrupt our fashion show. Oh my God, we never played the fashion update song. Fashion <gasps> update. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> so not to interrupt the fashion show, we'll get back to it, but... Okay, your legs are frog legs. You yesterday, what did you say about my legs? No, you always say that you have pork chops. And I said, I, and we're talking, we're watching Love is Blind, which actually doesn't turn into anything productive because then it just turns into like small fights because I'll be like, you don't do that for me. Or like this guy's cooking his now fiance, this beautiful breakfast. And I was like, you never wake up and make me pancakes. So it turns into things like that. And one of them was talking about the appearance of another when the reveal happened. And uh, I think the person was heavier than they thought. And uh, <laughs> I don't was like the, where this is going. <laughs> was, was it the one where she said she looks like Megan Fox? Do you ever get told you look like a celebrity? No, no. it was not that one. That was brutal. <laughs> but I also feel like she kind of does look like Megan Fox. She does, she does resemble her. I was, I was yeah. disappointed by the humor in a post that I saw and then in real life because she really did look like her. So anyways, anyways, I somehow said like, I love your pork chops. Like there's something I love about you and he was so offended and I was like that's what you've been calling them forever so if you're putting that upon yourself I feel like I'm allowed to also put that upon you L last little fight before we get back to the fashion then I said uh we were talking about how much we love each other and then I was just like you're perfect or something no you did not <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what I said I don't or I said something like do you think I'm perfect or I said like a joke I like said that. perfect for me oh <laughs> I said, you think I'm perfect? He goes, perfect for me. That is so fucked up. That's Nobody's so perfect. Sweet. That's yeah, sweet. Yeah, exactly. Perfect for me? Yeah, because yeah, you're not it's perfect. A, yeah, it's, it's kind of like, yeah, for me. You well, know, I mean, he's me. just saying like, maybe Rylan is saying like, I'm a t particular type of person and only you could be able to be, to find that, you know. Yeah, no, like, you just no, said, no, no, no. literally three I'm episodes saying, ago. I'm uh, saying. Oh, so here we go again. Fight with Shane and Rylan. Fight with Shane and Rylan. Shane and Rylan. You're so I'm lucky. saying 
like how we complement each other. You pick up your slack in the things you don't do, but then I pick up the slack in the things that you don't do. So we complement each other and we're perfect for each other. Okay. And I love you. I love you. So much. Okay, Spencer, what are you wearing? <laughs> well, I got a Garfield shirt on. <laughs> he doesn't do Mondays. <laughs> well, look at us, you guys. Just a bunch of adults <laughs> looking yeah. stupid, what, what fighting. What about you? And what oh, about me? me? I'm, well, you're, I don't okay. know. And then I'm, I'm Paris. <laughs> I literally asked Shane what he liked about me yesterday, and he had to think about it really hard, and I said, this hard? You have to think? And he said, no, I like how excited you get to see me. Aw. Well, oh. he was probably trying to figure out how to collect all of his words <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. to be able to pinpoint uh -huh. which one that would describe all of them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, nothing good happens fast, okay? <laughs> Including answers to questions. Sandy's the sweetest, most positive human I think that I know. Like, uh, you find. Jared the other day was like, see, we were filming, and he said, Sandy, he said, are you going to always end on a positive note? And I said, <laughs> Do you not know what era I'm in right now, okay? Like, Ooh. yeah. What's your what, era? What is the era? Just like positivity, you know? Changing perspective, bro, yes. you know? Yes. I'm gonna take on that era too right <laughs> now. <you>. Starting <laughs> now. Good luck. Starting, starting right now. How funny would that be if you went to your doctor like, I'm just trying to like get a new era. <laughs> oh, would you prescribe to me for that, you know? Yeah. I'm trying to be in my positive era right now. Like, okay, send her downstairs. You know? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, speaking of switching eras, we're going to completely switch eras on the show. And, 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 and have some, ooh. <laughs> All right. It's a new thing I'm trying in this era I'm in. It's, I'm in my era, era. You're in your era. Oh. My era, era. Wow. There it is. Okay, um, so I got an email from Ellie, and she said, hey, it's Ellie again. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have we read Ellie's emails before? Must have. Maybe. Hey, Ellie. Um, so Ellie said, I hope you guys are doing great. We are, kind of. <laughs> uh, she's a, she said she saw a TikTok that said, if you eat a pretzel with a grape, it tastes like fried chicken. Now, every slumber party needs a snack. So Spencer is going to pass out some plates. Ooh. And we're going to do the little experiment. This that, sounds delicious, but I, I'm not getting fried chicken. We're just going right in with the fried chicken conspiracy? <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. Mm -hmm. There's no chance. Is this going to end like the slumber parties I went to? Am I going to wake up in a pool of my own piss? <laughs> <laughs> I hope Just so. Just kidding. We also have a real piece of fried chicken. So <laughs> to, we can, compare. to compare. <laughs> There's no way, right? It's so, so crazy that humans look at this and we get like mouth watered. Like, ooh. <laughs> so here is a video of a bunch of guys getting really high and trying this. Now, they were using <laughs> green grapes, but supposedly red grapes are the move. Oh, okay. So here we go. If you eat a pretzel and then a grape, it tastes like fried chicken. I promise you I'm not He's fucked up out of his mind. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so first pretzel, and then grape. Fried chicken. <laughs> oh my god, he's convinced. No he's convinced. Wow. So here we go. I'm excited. So the pretzels first? Right. Yeah, I think yeah, that. I think I that. Try the experiment first. Okay, I'm going to make a little sandwich. I'm going I'm to put the grape on top of the pretzel. I'm gonna they were for order. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, right, here we go. By the way, my favorite thing about that video was all the comments were like, <laughs> the chicken is not the only fried thing in this video. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Dude, like fucking a TikTok, a dude. Mm -hmm. It Literally doesn't taste all. even kind of. Not, not even a little, little bit. bit. Not yeah. even 1%. No. But you I know, know what? I'm going to have to take a bite of my chicken though, just in case, okay? Just <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. What, what did the grape do for that? What? what element of a grape has anything to do with the taste of a fried chicken? Wow. Yuck. <laughs> okay, well, that was a flop. Um, okay, well, let's move on to games. So I have a couple options here. Oh, my God, I forgot to show you guys this. Okay, hold on. Chris, because you're in the gay tie-dye onesie and it's a sleepover, look what I found at Target. It's a rainbow face mask. No. <laughs> Oh. I love it. I feel like that's perfect for you. I don't know if it works or not. Should I put it on now? If you want. Or should I wait? You can have fun. It's a sleepover, baby. Do whatever you want to do. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So, obviously, I want to play Mafia because I feel <gasps> like that is my favorite game to play with this group. Although, today... I know. I'm already, like, on edge. But before we get to Mafia, I want to try a couple other, like, sleepover type games. And I was like, what did I like to play when I was a teenager? And I remember... Do you remember the game Apples to Apples? Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, so the version that people play now is Cards Against Humanity, which I'm sure everybody's heard of and played. Oh yeah. So I want to try this, but I was like, ooh, this could get really bad because there's some very offensive things in here. So I feel like that could make it fun. <laughs> Wait, how do you play? So, oh, you've never played? I don't think I, re I, I mean, I've played, but it's been so long. I can't remember how. Okay, so we all are going to get black cards. So the black cards are the topics, right? So 
An example would be like, my favorite sex position, right? And then all of us have white cards. So the person that reads the black card reads it, and then all the white cards put in their funniest idea, and then the black card reader will read them all and pick the funniest one. Oh, oh it's, yeah. it, it's kind of like, what do you mean? Yeah. That game. I've never played oh, it. Oh, so fun. Yeah, you get a card with a picture on it, and then everybody has a phrase that could be the meme for that. Yes. yes. So here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to read the topic. You guys are going to pick your funniest answer, and then I'm going to read them. I'm not going to know who submitted, so you guys can roast me. You could be as mean as you want. Maybe not too mean. <laughs> okay, ready? So my category is, hey, Reddit, I'm blank. Ask me anything. <laughs> wow, this feels mean. <laughs> <laughs> That's the point. I like it. I can take it. Yeah. All okay. right. Everybody pass the mission. Okay. Who do I hand it to? I just changed mine, so hopefully it's. I'm scared. This could really flop. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I got a good one. Oh, me okay. too. Okay, here we go. Hey Reddit, I'm applying topical ointment to my grandfather's infected penis. <laughs> <laughs> Ask me anything. Not bad. That's you're a caring person if you're doing that though. That's like the nicest thing you can do. It honestly is. <laughs> cheap cheap trick. <laughs> cheap trick. <laughs> cheap trick. Apply oh, yeah. ointment to penises. Hey Reddit, I'm firing a rifle into the air while balls deep in a squealing hog. <laughs> Wow, this game goes there, dude. <laughs> hey, Reddit, I'm I'm, I'm pro-life protesters. Ask me anything. <laughs> okay. Hey, Reddit, I'm vomiting seafood and bleeding anally. Okay. <laughs> Is that yours? No. Oh. Okay. And then the final one. Hey, Reddit, I'm an unwanted pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, really? It was the case. And look at you. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I would say the winner is applying topical ointment to my grandfather's <laughs> to penis. Good job. Wow. Wow. Look at us coming back together. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Jared. Mine is kind of weird. It's just this Italian looking gentleman saying nothing. Oh, what chef's kiss. Wow. So what you do with that one is you <laughs> read the answer and then you go. <laughs> oh, cool. Get creative guys. So it would be like applying ointment to my grandpa's penis. <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh yes, that's good. Okay. So hetero norma. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> what? I've never read a book, man. This is a tough word. Heteronormativity. <laughs> what does that mean? Can someone define it's that? It's like straight, being straight. Yeah, a straight man. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, being straight. Farting and walking away. <laughs> wow. A man on the brink of an orgasm. <laughs> Yuck. Pooping in a laptop and closing it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Fake tits. <laughs> <laughs> so I picked the winner. I think, you know, because this one has really summoned me up a lot, more than I thought it would. Farting and walking away. I knew right. I was going to know your audience. Right. Yeah, yeah. I was killing it. Good job, Ryan. Thank, thank you. Job. Thank you. Okay, mine's <laughs> white people like. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> I'm really nervous about this one. <laughs> so wait, it's white people like things they like? Yes. Or... Oh, I think I believe so. I think it's whatever you want it to be. Oh, mine's, <laughs> mine's not great. All right. So again, my card says white people like. <laughs> Being a dick to children. <laughs> True. My bright pink fuck hole. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh. Oh. I hope that was Jared. I really hope that was Jared. Oh my God. Being able to talk to elephants. Oh. Ass. <laughs> okay. The milkman. <laughs> oh, it's true. <laughs> Just to let you guys know, mine fucking flopped and I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> Being <laughs> able to talk to elephants, because who else do you see out there trying to talk to elephants? <laughs> it's not always fucking white people do it. I love that you fight for your car. <laughs> yeah, I just. I'm, I'm politicking for it. Don't pick it just because I'm saying that. <laughs> I'm going to say. Oh, that's hard. <laughs> the milkman. What the <laughs> heck? Hey. Did you expect to win with that one? No. I feel like we were kind of tied for last well, on that. Too. It was I'm... between that one and being a digital show. That was mine. I'm oh, disappointed. Wow. I would have been three for three. Wow. Wow. What a curveball you just wow. threw at everybody. You know? Wow. This is really fun. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Spencer, you ready? Okay. Mine is my favorite sex position is called blank style. I got the perfect card for this. 
<laughs> okay, my favorite sex position is called me time style. <laughs> yes, I like that one. Okay, not bad. Not sort bad. of making it seem like I don't have sex on me. <laughs> Very masturbatory. <laughs> Insulting the host. That's how you try to win. My favorite sex position is called the bombing of Nagasaki style. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. No, I don't think it's that intense. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, my favorite sex position is called the death penalty. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. That's a good one. Very good. <laughs> this is a good one. My favorite sex position is called Judge Judy style. <laughs> okay, I see That's it. That's good. And this one is <laughs> pretty classic. My favorite sex position is called doing it in the butt style. <laughs> I like that one. I think my favorite is actually Judge Judy. Because <laughs> yeah. that Okay, mean... what was your runner-up? Overdoing it in the butt style? <laughs> that was a good one too. I just like because it. What does that mean? Like it means Judge doing Judy. it in the butt. No, oh, I know God. that means. I'm talking about Judge Judy. <laughs> what does doing it in the butt mean? I also like the death penalty. I thought that was a good yes. one. Yeah, that was good. Okay. That was good. That was good. That was right, good. Yeah. All, right. All right, you're just being nice. To everybody yeah <laughs> how long are you supposed to keep this on your oh, face oh you can take it off now yeah like 10 minutes i would prefer it actually it just keep it on it might, it might be wow you're Super glowing yeah. the clearest it's ever been <laughs> okay chris you're making prue proud what's your category um it just says what's my secret power <laughs> oh my god oh no <laughs> do we want to offend the host <laughs> I I'm, feel like they're I'm all mean. I'm okay with mean if it's funny. <laughs> What's it? One more time. Oh, it says, what's my secret power? My cards aren't very good. I, could... I feel like everyone has a hundred cards. <laughs> okay. I know. I only have like three. Are we ready? Oh, I'm excited. Now. What's my secret power? My secret power are dick fingers. Ooh. Dick fingers. Practical. <laughs> nice. That'd be, that'd be fun. <gasps> um, my secret... <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, there's a theme. My secret power... <laughs> Uh, are three dicks at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Three in one hole, triple penetration. Who knows? Whoa. There's TP, the baby. <laughs> that was a secret power. <laughs> There's oh, double penetration. pink fuck hole is... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, my secret power is a micro penis. Oh. Mm. <laughs> my secret power is being fucking pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. That is a superpower. Jeez. Well, it's, okay. if it's a superpower. God. <laughs> My secret power is horse meat. <laughs> that's the best one. I think that's the best one right there. Uh, horse meat? I'm campaigning for horse meat. <laughs> that's a good. Wow. <laughs> well. It's a, th it's a deep, it's a highbrow one, for sure. Whoever horse made that's pretty meat. smart. I just love the idea of dick fingers, so I'm going to yes! get dick fingers. So oh, right. Wow. I knew it. If you, had dick fingers, catch up. <laughs> if you had dick fingers for one day, what is the first thing you would do? <gasps> I would just oh. fuck 10 holes at the same time, you know what Jeez. I mean? With my dick fingers. How would you? <laughs> yeah, okay. they all have to be close. Right. Maybe they're really long. I wonder if they all oh. feel good for you, too. So you can oh. Whoa, can you imagine oh. the orgasm? Oh. But what if they were growers? So it looked like you had little nut fingers. <laughs> You'd have to get hard to get okay, anything done. Okay, well, <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> you have to be watch wow. porn to type. <laughs> okay, grand finale. It's Rylan's turn. All right. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's blank. <laughs> that was fake. I don't think it's funny, actually. I just keep thinking about what Chris would look like with, like, micro penises. It's like his hand, <laughs> fingers. They're My micro now? Fingers. All right. Finale. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's announcing that I'm about to come. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's anal beads. Oh, <laughs> that's good. I like that. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's a stray pube. <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs> Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's our dildo. <laughs> Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's my ugly face and bad personality. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yikes. Um, you know, the most practical one is that. Uh, who wins? Who, who is it? I don't know who's that one. <laughs> Is that yours, Chris? It shades. Nope. It was, I wouldn't. Are you kidding? That me? was actually mine. I tried. I'm a good person. I would never. It's practical. I like it. Okay. I'm not a Anal beads was hilarious. It was. Anal okay. beads was very funny. <laughs> okay. It, yes, it was mine, but I know it's funny because it's not true. <laughs> You're not going to offend me. <laughs> wow. Okay, wait. So who? I wasn't keeping track of points. I think Rylan won. I think Rylan won. Rylan, yeah. you're the winner. Yeah. Congratulations. You win. Wow.
Horse, horse meat. Acting job. <laughs> <laughs> you went horse meat for your pink buckle. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. Now that kind of took longer than I was expecting. Should we just do like one round of mafia? Just yeah. One. Let's do it. I because love mafia. Now I wanted to do mafia because I got punishments. So for the losers, whoever loses oh, the round no. of mafia gets their choice of trying either pickle flavor jelly beans. <laughs> oh, I'll throw up. <laughs> Or Dr. Pepper Peeps. Oh. That sounds oh, pretty that's good. good. That's a prize. <laughs> that's a prize. <laughs> <laughs> Just the pickles. <laughs> I should get the peeps for winning the last game. You know, I oh. didn't know until a few years ago that pickles are just cucumbers. <laughs> no, they're not. Yeah. Yes. Prove it. Yeah, pickles are <laughs> just <laughs> cucumbers. Prove it. <laughs> yeah, they are. They're pickled they cucumbers. And the, what? How can you just say that without? <laughs> I thought pickles were its own thing. You can grow pickles if you wanted to. Yeah. No. So Pickle. it's cucumbers that have been, you know, dipped in vinegar. Are you vinegar. being serious, Ryland? Yes. <laughs> no, you're not. I am. Dude, this guy's on fucking <laughs> fire with the acting. I know. Real talk. <laughs> All right. Is every member of this sleepy little town, everyone see what they are? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. It's a nice, you know, we just had a nice slumber party. I think it's time to hit the hay. So why doesn't everyone close their eyes and go to sleep? Mafia, please awaken. Would you please point at who you would like to kill? All right. Go to sleep. Uh, detective, time for work. Open your eyes. Who do you think the Mafia is? Oh. Go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Um, guardian Angel, please wake up. Who would you like to save? Okay, okay, <laughs> go to sleep. Ah, cock a doodle doo It's another beautiful morning. It was quite an eventful night last night in this town, let me tell you. We had a nice slumber party, and Rylan decided, you know, go out for one of his cigarette breaks, go <gasps> out for a one I smoke. You motherfucker. On rollerblades. Yep, he was rollerblading <laughs> around the area. Headed for to a dick appointment. <laughs> when suddenly the mafia drops out of a tree of a, that you're rollerblading under and stabs you. No! <gasps> oh my god! But in a crazy, multiple crazy twist of fate, the the detective, which was you, you were out on detective duty. You got it. You managed to catch a glimpse of who was <gasps> killing you, and you you pointed a finger, and just at that moment, the guardian angel. Rush by and saved you, Riley. Oh my god. <laughs> so we just had a complete round of mafia Whoa. all in one night. Rylan was attacked, <laughs> figured out who the mafia was, and was saved. Whoa. So nothing happened. Wait, hold on. What's the detective? the detective? Yeah, that was new to me. The detective makes a guess at who the mafia is. But and what do they get? I thought we're all detectives. Do they get confirmation? Yeah, so if you get it right, you get it right. Oh. oh I don't think so who do you, who do you think the mafia is? Well, I woke up in Sandy's eyes. Well, because I thought when, <laughs> well, because, well, because he threw me off when Sorry, he was yeah. like, the, and I, I thought when he went to the detective before then, I thought we were but, supposed to wake up. But I, well, I had suspicions to begin with because she was crinkling her paper like crazy. And I was going to, as soon as we all woke up, I was going to say, Sandy is the fucking mafia. No, I didn't even, no one had so paper. why don't we try another round without a detective? Yeah. <laughs> and we'll, we'll Wait, still try to get but, it right. But who saved... Right. Oh yeah, who was the guardian angel? Who was my guardian angel? It was Chris. <laughs> Look what that mask does to you, dude. Thank you. <laughs> Chris has saved my life on multiple occasions this week. Uh, he saved me from ramming <gasps> backing into a car at full speed. That, my heart was racing twice in one week. <laughs> so good. Yes. Okay, audience, play along with us. Ah, oh, time to go to sleep. Everyone, go to sleep. Ah, oh, what a nice <laughs> night of sleep. Oh, another bright and beautiful morning. Everyone wake up, wake up, wake up. It's a beautiful morning, guys, but I have bad news. Shit. <laughs> Jared's acting too over the top. Something's <laughs> off. Last night, you guys were all out walking around on the town, hitting the bars, Ooh. enjoying things. Shane was like, you know, no, I need to go. I need for a bathroom break, guys. I'm going to hop out real quick. I'll, 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 I'll be right back. He goes out to the outhouse, I guess. <laughs> and guess who was waiting in there? No. Yeah, it was the Mafia. <gasps> and now Shane has unfortunately left the chat. <laughs> I think that's what kids say. <laughs> Shane is dead. And the Guardian Angel, they were somewhere else doing something, <gasps> doing something else. So unfortunately, Shane has passed away. But now townspeople and you guys at home, who do you think is the Mafia? 
Jared. Chris and then Rylan was a guardian angel. Why he didn't me? choose me? I wouldn't I wouldn't kill you though after the drama that we've had today. I'm like really trying <laughs> I know. to like get That's back like you're in a your guardian good angel and you didn't save me. The no. truth is revealed. No. The first time we played Chris's this game, reaction I saved was too big. You. Too big. He was Chris was playing it up a little bit. Oh, I, I don't have a voice, Chris. right? Because I'm dead. <gasps> yeah, I mean Unfortunately it's Jared. Ooh. He's been overacting not, since not. that we've woken up. <laughs> and then the second somebody said Chris, Shane said Chris, Jared's like, yeah, Chris, because he's deflecting. No, okay, because I learned a little bit from the last time, so maybe you know, I'm just I'm playing a little you bit. You said from the beginning that something was off. Which is yeah. something that the mafia would probably say. <laughs> no, I think I think diversion is the best tactic. Here. I wouldn't have killed my husband. I'm really trying hard to get in his good graces again after <laughs> publicly dragging him. Okay, I know. Okay. Literally, just to show you it's that a good he's, excuse. just to show you that he's not lying. This is what he just texted. <laughs> oh, <Calling> you. <laughs> wow. That's very murderer like. Yeah. He's trying to get close. And it's not you, right, Sandy? <laughs> no. <laughs> that was kind of weird. <laughs> that was weird. That was Listen, weird. Listen, I already know who it is, okay? Who? I'm ready for this round. Who? Who is it? I think it's Chris. Oh, <gasps> that's okay. the two of you are both on Chris. <laughs> I mean, I can be convinced if that's the direction you want to go. If that's what I'm thinking. I think okay. it's Chris. You'll Please, be Jared, sad. are you suspicious by your wife now, though, in that response? I, I still feel like it's Chris. Yeah. I think it's Chris, Chris, are you the mafia? Absolutely not. He oh, didn't yeah. look Ooh, me in the I don't know. That was a little You'll, too smooth. That absolutely was go, go, weird. No, go ahead and do it. You're wrong. But go ahead and do Ooh. it. Ooh, That's how alibi. I would behave. Okay, <laughs> you'll see. All right, what's well, the vote? Uh, Townspeople, let's let's are, vote. Is it you, Jared? No. <laughs> I think oh, it's Chris. No, I'm torn. I don't know. Yeah. I'm so torn between Jared and Chris. Or is it you, Rylan? Why are because no. you're kind of cross my pinpointing. heart, hope to die. I don't think Not it's me. Rylan. Rylan's good at this game, but I don't think it's him. Yeah, this, that would be too good. Okay, I'm gonna say it's Chris. Chris. I think it's Chris. Two. I'll go with the majority just so that <laughs> wow. we have a clean vote. I think yeah, I'm, I'll go with majority. <laughs> Sorry, Chris, you have saved me a lot this week. <laughs> so Chris is sitting at home. Oh no. Putting rainbow face mask, body rub all over everything, just enjoying a nice relaxing evening. It's an act of body rub. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and not because of that, but for other reasons, the town people are break down his door and kill him. They search everywhere in his apartment for clues. For cl not we'll see the because mafia. Because of that. <laughs> and guess what? There were no clues. <gasps> He was an innocent gay man in his apartment. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jerry, in a rainbow dirty, mask. Is it you? Isn't that always the case? It's Jerry. All right, all right. Well, it's time after that horrible deed. It's time to go oh to bed. God. Time to Thanks. get some nice, restful sleep. So please, oh. everyone in town, circle, close your eyes. I get a watch. I don't have to because I'm dead, right? Oh, me and Chris get a watch. Yeah, you guys get the watch. <laughs> all right, everyone go to sleep. Mafia, please awaken. Who would you like to kill? Please go to sleep. Guardian mm -hmm. Angel, awaken. Who would you like to save. Very good, very good. That was enlightening. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, keep going. A few ghosts saying a few things <laughs> around town. <laughs> Rylan. Of course, because he knows that I know. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> you were out for a nice bike ride, just enjoying sights. <laughs> First you were rollerblading, and now you're biking around town. You know, you stop by, you watch the ducks in the pond, you um, get some ice cream, I guess. Thinking of all the gay things. <laughs> Blue That's kisses. like a <laughs> crazily specific boys. ducks in a pond. <laughs> I was just I like it. surprised. It's about detail. But as you're <laughs> as you're biking around town, rollerblading. Yeah. Uh, yeah, biking with rollerblades <laughs> on. Rollerblading. <laughs> <laughs> the mafia once again sticks a stick in your bike wheel. <gasps> Sandy saved me. And try to flip. Well, again, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Flip, Gosh, flips you, flips you right into an oncoming car. <gasps> But who's driving that car and who hits the brakes right away? Ooh. The guardian angel Ooh. saving you. So you are safe after another attempt on your life. Now, who do you guys think the mafia is? Well, Sandy, that's easy. Can we band together and know it's your husband? <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh. Dude, she is so good at this game. That's why you heard her folding it up. I'm sure she picked it again. Or Jer You got it oh. twice last time somehow. Well, I don't what get it. We honestly, are, Rylan and I already and, know. And, and, get over yourself. Honestly, it's Jared. After the last time I watched this, I had to get suspicious of her because she's so good at it. <laughs> I had to get He's is it your wife? I think it's Sandy. Rylan. Well, I don't know. You killed me the last round. <laughs> <laughs> Did I? <laughs> wow. So one of you has to convince me that you're not the mafia because I'm the deciding factor at this point. I think me killing you would be obvious because you were coming at me so hard. And that's why he would kill you. I would have killed Sandy. 
I don't know. I think it's Jared. All right, Rylan. Unless it, yeah, no, it's you. Okay, last question. Sandy, is it Jared? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> it's Sandy. Jared, let's vote for Sandy. It's Sandy. It's Sandy. All no, right. It's not me. It's Jared. All right. Well, the vote no, no, is. Wait, wait, wait. Been... Is it? Is it? Because I don't want to eat the pickle. The pickle jelly. <laughs> okay. She's so like, no, no, no. I'm this is real. It's Jared. I'm telling you, Rylan. You're it's fighting Jared. too hard. No, you're, you're fighting You don't. Too if hard. you get killed, you don't eat the pickle. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> the townspeople, Rylan and Jared, they storm in. They say, Sandy, you're the mafia. They're mafia. And they take her. They throw her in the lake with all the ducks. Whoa. What? <laughs> I guess. Wow, what? dude. But they were looking through her pockets and they didn't find anything. Jared, you snake. <laughs> <laughs> and the mafia, Jared, walks away clean as a whistle. I thought, I no fucking you, pickle. Ryan. I thought it was Jared the whole time. Wow. But then when I was asking you about it, you were like grinning ear to ear like Because I was guilty. excited that I knew. <laughs> I knew it was wow. from the very beginning. I knew it was Jared. That was a and fun I, I, that was a good Ryan, one. I just want you to know I saved you. Thank you. Aww. I had I to redeem myself. It. I feel like last time I stunk up the place. Yeah, I really, but good, but I must good. confess, the first game, I was a mafia and I did kill you. <laughs> and that's why <laughs> there were multiple reasons why I had to go back on right. what happened. Try right, the pickle. Up. Oh, it smells horrible. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 they somehow made it more potent than the real pickle. This is fucking disgusting. No way. Yikes. Well, enjoy your pickle. We're going to take a quick little break, and when we come back, vagina. Viewers are great. I need another. It's like black licorice combined with pickle. Hey, sorry to interrupt the episode. Please don't go anywhere. I have some advice for you. I know. Why would you take advice from me? Well, this is advice on something I understand very well. This is advice about your walls. Now, listen, you can say a lot of things about me. Trust me, I've heard it all. But you've never heard anybody say, you know what? Shane has blank walls. <laughs> No, Shane has overly crowded, confusing, aggressive, somewhat tacky walls. I might be big, boring, blank, and white, but my walls, they tell a different story. What am I talking about? Display. <laughs> so yes, as you guys know, Display is one of my favorite sponsors. I love them so much, so much that I actually created my own displays for this podcast, which they have on their site. And you know me, I do not like photo shoots. Ooh, I do not like photo shoots. So this was a true labor of love. So we have a couple different versions of the group shot of all of us from the podcast, and then we have different individual pictures. We have a display of just Chris. We have a display of Jared, Ryle, and me. But Displate also has tons of other designs, not just us. So if you don't already know, Displate is the one-of-a-kind metal poster designed to capture your unique passions. So they are metal and magnetic. So basically, instead of having to put holes in your walls or use like duct tape, all you have to do is you wipe the wall with a wipe, you put on the little magnet, and then you snap on the display and you can put it anywhere. You can rearrange them, organize them however you want. They have over a million different designs. So they have something for everyone. World of Warcraft, Star Wars, Marvel, games, movies, pretty much everything you can think of, they have it. So if you just want to go to the site and search like a movie you love or a celebrity you like, I'm pretty sure you'll find a display of it. Also, they ship worldwide and it's very fast. It comes within like four to five days. And for every design sold, they are planting one tree. So just imagine you get a display to the podcast, you plant a tree. I mean, damn, you did a lot today. <laughs> so if you want to check out Display for yourself, I'll put the link in the description below. They are giving you guys a discount. So if you use code Grower at checkout, you'll get 22% off of one to two displays. And if you get three or more displays, you'll get 33% off. So that's code Grower at checkout to get 22% off for one to two or 33% off for over three. So thank you so much to Display, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Bye. Oh, did you try the pickle? Oh, so bad. <laughs> Whoa. Do you need to cleanse it with a Dr. Pepper? Pe Who ate one of these? I want to try it. <laughs> yeah, boy. You ate one? How was it? I loved it. Oh, wow. It just tastes like cherry. Ew, it stinks. Is it really stinks. that bad? It smells like Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Should Dude, I not? Hey, I, yeah, please. Should I peep you? Please. Peep that... it, homie. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't, Sorry I wasn't peeping. Dude, never look away when a man's giving you peeps. <laughs> Um, it's better. Oh my god, <laughs> than the pickle one. It <laughs> tasted good when I ate it, but I didn't have pickle in my mouth. Right. Well, it's a weird mix. I it, like pickle a lot, and it's it's just it doesn't it's not good. It's, it's really bad. I, not gonna lie, I thought you guys were exaggerating. No, it's really <laughs> bad. Um. Okay. Welcome back to Vagina. Viewers are great. I need another. <laughs> so this first email is from Mackenzie, and she said, "Hey guys, my name's Mackenzie, and I bought my first car wearing your merch. Look at her outside of condo oh with the grower merch." Nice. I love Aww. being. A, I love being a part of like people's life moments. Yeah. I like her car it's too. So cute. Okay, that is so cute. Oh, this is from Maddie. So Maddie said, uh, 
I know Maddie. Yeah, I know Maddie. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. So Maddie met Jared and Sandy in the real world. <laughs> now, she can't say where she works. Looks like <laughs> 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 but who uh, knows? It actually wasn't, Rylan. It actually wasn't. I know it looks like, but it is. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. So not confirmed. But this is uh, the picture that she took with Jared and Sandy out in the wild, and she blacked out her vest because she didn't want to get fired. Oh, oh. Am I getting fired? Hey. Uh -huh. It Maybe. wasn't. Yeah, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was one of those others. And if you get fired, <laughs> if you get fired because of this, Ryland's gonna send you a hundred thousand dollars. Yay! That is so cute. I wow. love that. You guys were just in search of some Hot Wheels. Yeah. Oh, and you yeah. guys are in the grower and farmer merch. How do people keep finding you guys like that? Because we wear it all the time. <laughs> we wear it all the time. I wore it to Disney, and Sandy's like, "That's so inappropriate." <laughs> it's like only if you know. You, you know, know what's like so funny? you guys going to. In your farmer and grower merch is like Disney vloggers when they go to Disneyland, like they're so famous and everybody knows because they're Disney vloggers. It's like your guys' Disney land. <laughs> Do you think it looks like that? Like we're trying to be seen, like, all right, get the farmer shirt on. I'm gonna get the grower, did the you, grower sweater let's just on. Just hang out at Hot Wheels, you know, yeah, all day yeah, long. Yeah. <laughs> Shane, didn't you just say the name of the location like three times? No. <laughs> no, I think he was referring to the last picture we got. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. It just shares the same strip mall. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. And then I got an interesting email from Katie. She said, hey y'all. I love y'all. So I was at work and I noticed that they stocked up on the Bath and Body Works hand soap, which you guys talked about on the show before. So I decided to try to use it on my very oily face. And guess what? It dried out all my acne. Yes. <laughs> wow. I'm not a dermatologist, but I'd, I'd recommend it to anybody to try if they have acne. So uh, I guess because the soap is so intensely drying. Well, if you have oily skin, I guess, right. it dries it out. But that still feels like it could lead to some sort of burn or problem. So maybe be careful. Well, does, don't they have to list the ingredients on hand soap because it sounds like it has like a witch hazel or a isopropofol or something like that in it. <laughs> Not to get all sciencey, <laughs> oh. but I had acne and I remember Uncle Gene would tell me to put witch hazel on my face and oh. it would work. Really? Oh, yeah, and iso is just a form of alcohol that will dry you out real bad. It's what's in a uh, hand sanitizer. Mm. A smart bear. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, should we do a voicemail? Always. Okay. Hey Shane, I love the podcast. I'm looking for some advice. I'm in a little bit of a pickle. I met this guy at a bar and I started hooking up with him. I'm 24 and I found out that he was 49. Uh, I kept hooking up with him and then I found out one time that he's actually my uncle. Technically Ooh. not blood related, like just through marriage. But oh. he remembers me as a child and I used to go to his kids' birthday parties. He didn't recognize me though, like it was a shock to him. Uh, so I continued to, to hook up with him, and now it's been four months, and I have stopped feeling for him. So I'm just wondering what do I do, and if you have any advice for me. And hey. it, and it, it's weird. I like <laughs> <No>. it. <laughs> the, thing is, the thing is, I'm getting a nasty vibe. How do you End not it. know it's your uncle? I, yes, That's honestly. what I was more curious about. Is there like a, a mystery uncle? So he's uh, obviously not still married. I'm well, confused. she wasn't looking at him like he was looking at her. At don't these... you know what your uncles look like? And she it's she it's went probably to... by marriage. Well, that's, yeah, that's what she said. That's what, that's why I was said, oh, because at least it's not like blood related. Yeah, then we're it's still weird. kind of so weird. So it would be like uncle. What? Or like, <laughs> well, I'm just trying well, to think it would, about it. It would be like, uh, you know, aunt. Our aunt's husband. Yeah. You know. Our aunt. Or it would be husband. like, or be like uh, one of our uncles. Uh, like related by marriage. No, that would be yeah. like Sandy hooking up with one of our kids. But that's why you can no. fuck your cousins. Well, I what? Mean, I think, <laughs> well, in Utah. I never have. But wasn't, isn't that? It's a law, I think, in Utah. Maybe we've talked about it. But if you're over 65, you can fuck your cousin. Mm -hmm. If you're over Ew. 65, what the yeah. hell? They're like, fuck it, do why whatever you want. Why is it over 65? <laughs> They're like, good for you. You know what you're doing like, at that your point. Your dick gets hard still. <laughs> fuck your cousin. <laughs> Oh my God. Ew. Anyways, well, I know like, like Brady Bunch. Like remember the episode where, where uh, Greg and Marsha, they wanted to fuck because they're the not related? Yes, that's the best way to think of this right now because that's exactly what yeah. it would be like. Okay, it's weird. It's, it's weird <laughs> to me and I feel like in general, uh, break it off. It, it's just weird yeah. because there's no way he's not aware of you even if you weren't aware of him. And how do you bring him home to your family? Yeah, the oh, long term, my, how does that God. look? What does that look like? <laughs> That's love is blind shit. Okay, I <laughs> refra I, let me rephrase. Take him home to your family <laughs> before you break it off. 
wearing the merch and take a photo for us. Maybe video. <laughs> maybe. I would love to see that. You film it. Um, yeah. I definitely wow. agree with Jared. Please break it off. Please yeah. stop hooking up with your uncle. I just want to say I'm not judging her for doing it. No. Because no. it's not related. Not saying we no. are, but... Um, but I I'm mean, judging him. I, yeah. Yes. Oh, I, mean, yeah. I think long term, it's just, it's not going to go where we're going to want it to go. Right. It's not. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, thank you for calling in because that was, that was a lot. Woke me up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you went there. You really did. Yeah. And you need to stop going there. <laughs> yeah, go know? home. At, at this go point, home. Find immediately. another older gentleman. Yeah. Okay. Let's do one more. Hey, Couch Crew. Couch huge, crew. huge fan. Um, my name is Amanda. Shane and Ryland, I've been watching you forever. Um, you guys are my comfort videos, so I love you and thank you. Um, so my question is for everyone and your relationships. This is about um, kind of being a couple and showering and like what your daily shower routines are. Um, my parents have been together for 40 years and their thing is like they always shower together. They never shower separately. And like personally, I think it's kind of weird because... Um, I, when I shower, showering is like my time to be myself <laughs> and take my time and do whatever I need to do in there. So um, I just think it's kind of funny and it's kind of cute. So I'm wondering um, what yours, what your shower routines are like. <laughs> LOL. Anyways, thank you guys so much. Love you. Bye. <laughs> uh, first of all, that's so cute. I yeah, love that. Yeah. Maybe they started that. I don't know how old they are, but maybe like when they were younger, it was like a saving water thing. I was thinking Great Depression oh, era. Maybe but they're not that old. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe they do it. But to their keep... parents probably were. Maybe. Or maybe yeah. they do it to keep like the you know the spice the spice in their relationship. I feel like it's not practical day to day though because <laughs> no, if, if I'm like not. trying to get ready for work, it feels like showering together is going to lead well, to something. Well, you never... And yeah, listen, I'm not trying to start a fight. But you do not ever let me get in the shower. Oh, ever. No, we have. I. It's just not my preferred... Then you're wet. You're like... I, I just... I'm not... It's a shower. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Like I'm saying, sexually, I don't love a shower. I don't uh, want to do it for sex, though. I just think it's like fun. No, I, I don't like that. I get sad and lonely like, in the shower. I... I mm. Although I will say, like, cleaning your ass... I don't know if I've ever seen you clean your ass. What? So I just feel like seeing your significant <laughs> other clean their ass. How do you clean your ass? <laughs> I don't. Uh, <laughs> well, with soap, yeah, I mean, I, okay. I do get oh. soap on my hand and lather and whatnot. I don't, don't clean my butthole with soap. My butt doctor told me not to. What? What do you clean your it with? You don't oh remember God. when I got itchy ass? <laughs> the doctor said, said it was said... from being too clean. He said it was... Okay. <laughs> Your butt doctor said I can to detest never, that, but okay. Not with soap. He said, like, Ever. don't take soap to your, like, so what do you, asshole. What do you clean your asshole with? What? Well, I feel like it probably, like, I scrub my back with a loofah, and then it probably goes down, no, but then I probably, rinse out my asshole with probably. water. Probably. That is Jared Coded. I use <laughs> a, yes. Okay, how about this? I use a bidet every time I shit, and then I wa rinse my ass in the shower. If I have a portable handheld shower top, okay. I will put it on the jets because what I do is yes. I like to blast my, the shit out of my teeth. <laughs> so I go like this, I go, dirt, dirt. And then I'll do ah. a quick pass on my butt. Burp, 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 burp. But right now we don't have one of those. Definitely do butt second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It's always mouth to butt. It's never butt to mouth. I oh, think God. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what particles are flying around my butt when I do that. <laughs> but uh, I think maybe we've taken one shower together, but it's really, I don't know. Well, I think it's one like ever? sexy time. It's okay. But like actual shower, like no. Like I want to get into, you know, I agree with her. It's, it's kind of my alone time. And then two, we have somewhat like different schedules, so it's just. And then it would know. turn into something different than the shower. It's like I, if we're gonna have sex, let's have sex. I don't, you know. Which I don't mind like sexy time in the shower, and then like move on to the bed, you know, bedroom. But I don't want to have sex in the shower. I don't like sexy time after shower because everybody feels like a pig. <laughs> or do you know everybody. what I mean? Sticky, like, <laughs> sticky pig skin, and then yeah. you're like fucking, and it's like. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. Yeah. If I'm going to do water activity, I'd rather somewhere else. You know. Right. 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 Um, okay. Chris, I you love a shower though. with your man. Yeah, we both shower separately and together, mm -hmm. and yeah, I don't know. I don't think there's anything weird about it. I think it's kind of romantic and fun and and sometimes sexy. <laughs> but sometimes it isn't sexy. Well, when we're when I'm alone, no. Uh, but when you're no, showering together, him. do you I'm guys saying. ever just pretty shower. much always? You shower together to get ready. 
uh, without something happening? Yeah, if it's like if it works out, if it if it makes sense time wise, we will. But like, if you're like going to dinner and it's like both of you need to shower, you'll both sometimes. Okay. Yeah, it's like a bit of both. It just depends. Spur of the moment. We don't have it planned or anything, but I don't know. It's fun. We we have fun. Wow. Well, uh, that was very enlightening. <laughs> and I, I think it's amazing that your parents do that, yeah. Amanda. Yeah. I think it's very sweet. Yeah. Not for me. And we both clean <laughs> b- our butts, both of us. Good for you. I hope <laughs> you don't get <laughs> each other's or sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get to some conspiracies. Okay, this first one, I got so many emails about this. Now, I wish I would have known about this before because I would have tested it out. Have you guys heard the new Stanley Cup conspiracy? Not only did they pretend like it was fireproof, but the new viral phenomenon is, did you know that a Stanley Cup is bulletproof? Okay. First off, I can't even fall asleep with ice in that fucking cup and wake up to ice. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know how the hell it's supposed to be fireproof. And you know what cup I can? Fucking Emma Chamberlain's. There doesn't have to be a lid on it. Shut it out. It just is sitting there, no lid, ice in the morning. (laughs) Clink, clink, clink. That's scary. Um, So there's a viral news story, which I don't think this woman's lying, but this story went viral. And she said a Stanley Cup saved her life when a stray bullet came through her house and it ricocheted off her cup. (laughs) They're marketing geniuses for sure. I think that's about what what we can say. Did it go through the wall first, too? I, I have no idea. But then it went viral. Now everybody's trying to be like, oh my God, if you just have a Stanley cup around you can get saved from a drive-by you can get saved from an intruder this doesn't seem like a good trend though because everyone was lighting the cups on fire now everyone's gonna be shooting bullets around <laughs> it's like i don't know i know i, I don't know if i want tiktok shooting bullets around yeah so let us know guys have you ever gotten shot with a gun? <laughs> did it save your life send us an email maybe oh, all that lead protects from the bullet oh wow <laughs> Because they have lead in them. Only it's, on the bottom, uh, not right. inside. Yes. Oh, wow. side note. Before we get to the next theory, um, speaking of companies doing crazy things for marketing and virality, Spencer was telling me about the popcorn bucket from Dune. Yeah. Have you guys seen the Dune popcorn buckets? No. You'd have to start by telling me what Dune is. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding. No. The desert, the, the horrible desert looking movie. Somebody did, so, they, <laughs> somebody did a edit where it's uh, Wendy Williams like as the characters and it's called How You Do. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's amazing. It's so good. Now I, like I have it. seen the book. I'm sure it's beautiful. I just want to say, I'm not trying to dig it. I just, I watching that trailer makes me hate it. Oh, I, I thought you were talking either. about the bucket. I was I like, it's not that beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so the bucket looks like, uh, yeah, it looks like um, a, f- a fleshlight. <laughs> <laughs> um, Does it look that much like a fleshlight? I mean, oh. I don't know about a flashlight, but it looks... It's the perfect size to put your dick in. And there's all these <laughs> little silicone stringies that if you lube them up, it'll be like... If I had one, I'd fuck it. 100%. 100%. You can get one on Etsy for $120. I will oh, say... In. What, why did they make I think we should just eat popcorn out of flashlights is what this is telling me. <laughs> Uh, I think they made it to go viral to be like, look, let's make it look like a flashlight and let's get everybody talking about it. And it fucking worked. Yeah, they're sold out every. I tried to get one like for the show. They're sold out everywhere. A, every am- <laughs> uh, for the show, I tried to get one. <laughs> I look at you have this picture. This guy, he said, I'm just here to fuck the popcorn bucket. Oh my God. Can you not go to the movie theater and get one? No, sold out. What? Wow. They're every, like every movie theater. They're sold out. No this way. guy used it instead of a cone for his cat. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it was on purpose? Yes, I think they, they wanted people to say it looks like a big old flashlight. Because it was so successful, I guarantee you there's going to be another like movie that has some sort of like suggestive bucket. Put out the bucket and you can fuck it. <laughs> this I got a bunch of emails about too. This is crazy. I have watched this like 50 times. I, I can't explain it and I it's so confusing. I don't think it's fake because I don't understand what it is. Let me just show you. It is February 28th. 29th, 28th, 29th, I have got me a better quality camera to catch this thing in the sky. And holy moly, I am scared. I'm scared, but I'm not gonna trip because I've been catching this thing for a while now. It's very ominous. There he is. There he is. What the fuck is that? There he is. What the fuck is that? There he is. It's a huge face looking right down on us. What the fuck? Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit brighter. There but it's is. like as Whoa. big as the moon. Literally, what the fuck is going There's on? Man needs to get a videographer for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I have a theory. What the fuck? Ew! Whoa! What the fuck is that? What the fuck? It's like is an that? old man. What the fuck? So okay, 
What the fuck is that? Anybody? Anybody? My only guess is it's clouds that just happen to look exactly like a creepy guy looking down at you next to the moon. I was thinking, you know how that phone did that thing where if you zoom up to the moon, it, they like projected a false yeah. image. But mm. what? It's, it's very that, creepy. For it's sure. that technology glitching. That's just... I mean, after all the project, oh, sorry, our cat is in a bucket of chicken right now. <laughs> <laughs> Louis all, is full body in the bucket. He's like, where's my dune bucket? <laughs> oh, he's leaving. He's leaving. Um, so I don't know. All the Project Bluebeam stuff is freaking me out. Now that we did that video, I'm getting so many things on my like recommended reels and stuff. And it's all like holograms and crazy shit in the sky. Like, th like what the fuck is going so on? So you think this is trying to throw us off the scent. We're looking at it, calling this guy a goofball. It's real though, and now we're going to be more unsuspecting. That's I don't know. I mean, to me, it looks I believe like, it. It looks like the people that control everything are testing out the hologram. They're like, let's do a little test. Let's Whoa. do it at night, though. Let's do it at night so nobody sees it. I, I'm not too much believing his voice and his tonality in this video. I mm -hmm. think he'd be a little bit more terrified, mm -hmm. but that's what they want us to think. Maybe I right. think this guy works for the CIA. Whoa. Well, speaking of uh, weird CIA crazy shit. I don't even know how to get into this next one. This is crazy. I'm just going to play it. Okay, listen. So I'm making this Velveeta fucking skillet dinner right now. Mm, and I good. opened the box. And this is it. <gasps> and it has some very KKK's cross fucking... This was in my box of Velveeta. So the Hindu swastika. <laughs> what is happening? Gun. Surveillance. Nazis. <laughs> So <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what Wait, what the fingers? fuck? Did Velveeta put out a statement about this? I'm so confused. What's on her fingers? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was <laughs> What the hell is that? <laughs> that's what I'm looking at. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what the fuck is on her fingers? <laughs> what the fuck is that? I it's mean, just what like is a it? nail treatment. Uh -oh. So yeah, what the fuck is going on? What is that? How did that get in the box? Did somebody at the Velveeta factory say like, I'm gonna sneak this shit? Or is Velveeta trying oh, yeah. to tell us something? Well, I, I th okay, if let's just say I wanted to do this, obviously <laughs> you could. <laughs> let's but it just, wasn't we, have, we have to put ourselves in the mindset of a weirdo. You can see by how it's folded very strategically to be able to fit, like if this is the top of the box, uh -huh. they could slide it in the side that isn't sealed very easily. Uh, so it's folded uh, up. So I mean, it wasn't in the box and then the box was sealed. I think people are just going into stores and putting these in boxes. Uh, but However, are these people trying to tell us something? Uh, and to be the person, one of the few that receives it, Still feels like that <laughs> bad energy. That's huge. Away. I can't wait to open up a box and see something like that. I'd rather get that in my food than a pube or a hair. <laughs> You know? I'd rather get a manifesto from the Illuminati. I'd rather get a note that says, you're going to die tonight than get a hair in my food. <laughs> Straight up. So true. Yeah. Um, okay. This next theory I'm very excited about because we are entering our daddy era. We're already in it. But every daddy right now and mommy on Instagram is talking about Bluey. Have you heard about Bluey? No. <laughs> Bluey. You did about Dune. <laughs> <laughs> Bluey is a cartoon that every parent now is watching with their kids. And then the kids go to sleep and the parents like keep watching it. It's like a meme right now. It's like my kid goes to sleep and I'm still watching Bluey. So the <laughs> the animators of Bluey supposedly, this might be fake, but supposedly got fired because they planted something specifically for us in the show. I guess if you watch Bluey in the parents' bedroom, their dogs, in their bedroom, there is a cuck chair. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody online is talking about how Bluey is trying to uh, talk about cuckery <laughs> on their show. Wow. I mean... <laughs> It does look like a cock chair. It's not necessary either. It actually doesn't make enhance the room. You know. It I mean? also is blocking a door, so that's kind of confusing. <laughs> so why is it there? It could also just be like to fill the frame. Yeah. Right? I'm curious if they ever film the dogs on it. Oh. Is yeah. there a cuck scene? Is what we're asking. I don't know. I haven't researched enough. <laughs> wow. So thank you guys for emailing me that. I got a lot of uh, is Bluey a cuck emails, <laughs> and I was very scared to open them. It is crazy how it's just so bright gold. Like that's the focal. <laughs> Point. This yeah. is a cup chair. Is it it's possible? It like doesn't match the anything else in the room. All right, real quick. I oh. actually saw something recently, and I and I just remembered it okay. right now. It's just fun. Oh my god, just I saw goofy. this too. So this is the Chicago's Bull logo. Uh huh. Do me a favor. Flip it upside down. Okay. What do you see? <laughs> It looks like a robot butt fucking a crab. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Doesn't it? Like exactly. Or it looks like the DJ Marshmallow butt fucking a crab. <laughs> 
from uh, underneath, right? Like, I don't know. He's, 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 he's getting, the crab's getting fucked by a robot, guys. <laughs> That's the best reveal I've heard. Right? Now that is scary. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, no, I see. I, scary. I saw this before, and it really does look like that. Oh, oh yes. my god! <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So our final theory is one of the scariest ever. I have not heard this whole thing. I only heard the beginning of it. But strap in because this is about to get very, very spooky. I actually, I had an idea for this, but I don't know if this is going to work. Will it get dark enough for this? I can see it. Well, okay. So because it's a slumber party, I thought it would be fun if we all had flashlights and if we told scary stories. And I was like, oh, Jared could tell his scary theory, but is that going to get annoying? <laughs> oh, it hurt. This is pretty strong for little flashlights. It's like also just so hot. Okay, let me <laughs> <laughs> yeah, never mind, never mind. We don't need it. We don't need the flashlight. I okay. mean, I'm fucking wet. Like, I feel like I'm cutting weight for a boxing match. Right You're now. like dripping. You look like Usher in the Super Bowl. <laughs> okay, so the, the overall theory that we're going to be talking about is the dark forest, right? Okay. So the dark forest is essentially the idea that there are aliens out there but everybody's afraid of each other. So just like maybe if you live next door to murderers, you would always try to hide. Okay. There are aliens out there, but we're all playing it safe. So we're all just trying to stay hidden from each other because of the hidden threat. So we're all in this forest, hiding behind trees, trying to not get seen by each other. Wait, the aliens. The aliens, aliens. are hiding from each other. Yes, the aliens don't want to be noticed by each other because inevitably, the second that we see somebody else, we're going to want to take over their resources and obviously kill them. We are projecting onto aliens what we already know we do to each other. Right, just like in order to take over a land, you got to slaughter the people. Everyone's fighting for these resources. So there was a book written, I believe it was in the 90s, and it talks about how there's nine steps in order for a civilization to go into space and develop civilizations on other planets. The last one basically being create hospitable environments on another planet and get there. And the eighth is to be able to go into space. So right now our civilization is in the eighth step of this. Right. But the reason why it's believed that nobody has seen life from other planets is because of the great filter. There's something in the universe that will not allow anybody to get beyond a certain point. So it's like the end of like in a video game, the end of the simulation kind of, like you can't escape that? Yes, it's like the barrier. It's like the Truman okay. Show wall. And we don't know how far other planets have gotten, but we're officially like right there on the brink of it. So if the Great Filter is the last step, we're about to get slaughtered. Oh. But if the Great Filter is, you know, like after step three, that means that we could potentially be the first ones ever to experience life on I'm other I'm just planets. thinking how cool if that's the scenario and our kids' kids are just planet hopping. Like we go to different <laughs> like, an, that would be cool. like an yeah. Uber. The, the yeah. other is that there is obviously aliens on this planet. They've already taken over and they've already manipulated everybody. And we just, cause we look at aliens like these big things with heads that, you know, uh, they're all goofy and shit like that. But what if aliens have become so advanced that they're able to shape shift and all this stuff and they look like dogs or they look like cats and they're able to gather information in that sense. You know what I mean? So just because we haven't seen what oh my we- God, the fucking dog. Dogs and cats just started going crazy when you said See? That. Ew. Just because. Ew. Oh my God. Ew. But so yeah, I mean, maybe it isn't as crazy as I as I put are out there. Cats be. fucking aliens? That's what some people believe. Some people believe that cats are from another. Cats and octopuses are always theorized to be from like other planets or aliens infiltrating us. We've talked about this before, I think. But <laughs> yes, but cats are the only pet that are self-aware. They know huh? they're cats. And they'll eat you after you die. A dog will Whoa. starve to death if you die and it will never touch you. Oh. A cat will fucking eat you. They've walked in on, on scenes of people being just devoured by cats, but they've never walked in on a scene where people are getting devoured by dogs, you know? It's interesting because this goes with your other theory of, you know how you said uh, movies prepare you for things to come, like an alien invasion. Yeah. Well, like Captain Marvel and a couple Marvel movies recently have cats being an alien while the mouth comes open, like swallow Shut someone up. whole. So it goes with that theory as well. Oh my God. Yeah. Ew. But I guess at the end of the day, it's just an interesting notion to think that if there's life on 0.00001% of other planets, there's still millions of civilizations out there. So there's no way we're alone. It's just 
why haven't we seen any of them yet? Absolutely, there is life elsewhere, and almost certainly intelligent life. It has to be. The odds are just overwhelming. There are stars which are billions of years older than our sun. Some of them very likely have planets, and therefore I can imagine civilizations immensely beyond the capabilities of our own. So you're saying that there could be another, you know, Earth planet on like step seven. Yes, we, so we could either be the furthest that it's ever gotten, or we're, you know, other people have figured out how to circumvent the great filter, but I don't believe that to be the case. You know, I think that we're actually the furthest along. You know what's crazy? I'm taking you even more seriously in the bear suit. <laughs> you should. <laughs> it's giving you a level of authority. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Do I shit in the woods? <laughs> but yeah, so the dark forest, though, it's just a creepy idea that, like, when you look into the night sky, there's definitely aliens there, but they're fucking hiding, you know? They're behind the tree. They're like, we don't want to be seen because these people put fucking bombs in the air and they might kill us. So they're scared of us. Oh, yeah. well, speaking of life forms that are great at acting, <laughs> <laughs> let's get to a recap. <laughs> Rylan's recap is about to happen. Rylan's recap. On today's episode of the Shane Dawson podcast, I may have gone too far and got my husband very upset with me. <laughs> Don't, I'm not the bad guy. <laughs> oh no, is this going to be a problem after the podcast? What, what is that supposed to mean? I, I feel guilty for going so oh. hard because you are a good man. You should. Oh. <laughs> Someone's out there dating their uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Just when you thought your life was bad. <laughs> Whoa. You could be dating your uncle without knowing it. Wait until you surprise your family with that man. Wow. That was offensive to everybody. <laughs> um, We're about to discover aliens and die, maybe? What's happening? Aliens definitely exist. That's the whole point of it. They definitely exist. They're cats. They could be cats. <laughs> Stanley Cup is bulletproof. Yeah, fucking right. <laughs> they Send me your it videos. <laughs> Allegedly, Stanley Cup is not only fireproof, but it is now bulletproof as well. Oh, the Dune, the Dune uh, popcorn bucket. Is oh, the fuck it bucket. Fuck it bucket. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my god, I forgot to do the Love is Blind conspiracy really quick, really quick, because I need it for the fun. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever seen Love is Blind? Oh yeah. yeah. Okay, you know how they have gold cups? <gasps> in every season, in every scenario, whether they're at a restaurant or they're in the bubble or whatever, they all are using gold cups. It's it really weird. Honestly, drives me crazy because even in the apartments they put them in, these motherfuckers are drinking <laughs> out of these gold cups. Is it because they have mics in them? Ooh, good guess. No, it's very, it's very random and it's, for some reason, kind of creeps me out. So the reason they all have these gold cups is because you can't see through them so that it doesn't mess up continuity. So if you're like having a conversation with your, you know, future spouse uh. or whatever, and you're drinking wine and stuff, they want to be able to cut the conversation however they want. Uh. Um, Make the storyline whatever they want, and you'll never know because the cups. Now, it's really crazy because if you're watching, you're like, this conversation escalated very fast, or this doesn't make any sense, but you can't tell the timeline because uh, of the cups. But there was an episode, I forgot what season it was, but one guy was eating chicken wings, and he had the gold cup, but they were so showing his chicken wings, and he was talking to this woman, and every time it would cut back to him, another chicken would be gone, or a chicken would appear, or the wing would be there, or the bone would be there. And I'm like, ah, oh, they didn't think that one through. I wow. caught him. That is so crazy. Yeah. Because it's it's such a good show that you're now thinking, is what I consumed even real? Yeah, like are they cutting these conversations in a way to manipulate? It's kind of smart. It's kind of genius. Very smart. <laughs> okay, sorry. Back to the recap. In search of a new car, purchase your first with Shane Dawson merch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, guys, come on, let's give him some confidence. Yeah. Yeah. Let's give the man some confidence. Shane Dawson merch. Rylan. 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 You definitely did not meet Jared and Sandy at your local. That was definitely a different <laughs> discount store, and they weren't shopping for toy cars. <laughs> okay, we're getting a little better. Okay. Yeah. Rylan. 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 Um, okay, that's it. <laughs> Damn, you hit us with the um right after the pump up. No, 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 no. Did you guys ever know that the Chicago Bulls logo? <laughs> Yeah. It is actually just something, something, fucking something. 
Yeah, we talked about it. I do know. Yeah, Before I have a meltdown, I gotta end this show. I hope you all enjoyed this episode of the Shane Dawson podcast. Make sure you're following us all on social media. Jared and Sandy are our new favorite Disney vloggers. Hey, whoa. What? We oh. love all of our Disney vloggers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Ordinary really... Adventures, we... The, Equally. We're your favorite ones that you're related to. Yes. Yes. I didn't understand the gravity of my words. All right. Chris is also actively posting on Instagram. Spencer is actively seeking submissions. Chris has a YouTube channel. What? Did I not say that? Did I say Instagram? I don't know. I thought I said YouTube. He's posting on YouTube. (laughs) Yay. Really? Did I not say YouTube? He said Instagram. Oh. Spencer is still looking for his match. Aww. Is love really you blind? You should go on Love is Blind. <gasps> oh. We should recreate it. <gasps> With the gold cups and everything. But oh, yes, yeah. We're doing no that. hot wings, though. No hot wings. <laughs> okay. We learned our lesson. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed the show. Make sure you tune into the Shane Dawson podcast every other week and listen on uh, and listen to the audio. <laughs> sit down. <laughs> Grandma, you can sit. You can take a break. Bye. I love Bye. you. Um, well, you guys go. Hopefully, you enjoyed this sleepover. I know. I'm ready to sleep. <laughs> this nightmare <laughs> of an episode. No, this was so much fun. I hope we do it again sometime. And if you guys want us to play any of these games again, like Apples to Apples or Cards Against Humanity, let us know. Or did you hate that? Uh, all right. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, please. We need it. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.